we're, we're, just, we're simply going to buy and hold. You okay. know, we're going to we're going to buy and hold and we'll be renting these mobile homes out. OK, you know? but wait a minute. Are you going to is you going to collect this the lot rent or are you going to put a mobile home there or what are you going to do? I'm going to put it. I'm going to put a mobile home there. OK. All right. All right. So so luckily, I, I will say this, the the and, and kind of let me back up a little bit, because the wholesaling um, in the past have gave me the opportunity to build capital. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Kelly from Hughes Deals and Wheels Mobile Home Investing Course. And I got a special guest here today is one of my students, Mr. Clarence Snell. Clarence, how are you doing today? Clarence, I'm just wonderful, Miss Kelly. Doing great. That's good. That's good. So, Clarence, you are actually a realtor. You start off wholesaling homes, right. single family homes. Right. And then, uh, then you got your realtor's license. Right. right? So first of all, introduce yourself to everybody. Well, for everybody, um, Clarence Snell, I, I I branded myself the house man okay. uh, here in the here in the Houston area because you know branding is everything these days. Okay. Um, so you know, I actually got into the real estate industry. I would say wholesaling about four years ago. Um, you know, done done quite a bit of deals as far as the wholesaling goes. But I said to myself. I know there's some access to homes um, that, that that I can get more access to. So kind of like Dean, 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 the realtor license kind of popped in my head. Okay. You know, so started working on the realtor's license, got that, uh, you know, started doing my marketing to myself as a realtor now. Okay. You know, so started kind of building that traction up. Okay. You know, so now I, I got that going and, and I'm also still wholesaling. Okay. You know, okay. I, you, know I, you you wholesale I, single family homes. Wholesale single family homes. I, I didn't know you could do that once you became a realtor. Okay. All right. You can. All right. You can. And and I, I and, and and Clarence, I'm following you. I see you killing the game in the real estate market. I see you killing the game. You know, a lot of people frown on it, especially, you know, maybe relative to some brokers, they kind of frown on it, you know, but I tell anybody, not every home is a listable home. Okay. You know, um, you got some people that, or you might have a person that's private. They uh -huh. don't want people coming in and out their home right. to right. see it on a daily basis. Uh -huh. They want something that's, depending on their situation, they want something just, you know, quickly done. If you can get it done quickly, get them cash, set it up, mm -hmm. they're done with it, okay. you know? So that, that's kind of some of the things that I have uh, basically laid out to, to, to folks. Okay. You know, when I call them, you know, it, it can go either way because now I'm a, I have options. You know, if, if you want me to list it or sell it, I can do that. If you want it quicker, I do deal with investors. Okay, you know, okay. That, that can buy quicker, but of course it'll be at a wholesale price. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so, is that like like it would be considered brokering the deal, or is it's just wholesaling? It's just it's just wholesaling. Okay. All right. It's, it's just it's just wholesaling, and if you deal with what what we consider to be investment friendly title companies, okay, the title companies will pretty much handle all the paperwork. So okay. okay. They know how these processes go, and as you build the relationships. With the title companies, you know, it's pretty much you can call them and say, "Hey, I got this property, mm -hmm. sending over the contract," you know, things like that. Okay. So, so and, it's and so Clarence, why mobile homes now? Because you still you still killing the game in real estate. Now you you right. switched over to the mobile home. Why well, why mobile homes? I'm glad you you know what you asked that, and I remember you saying this before, and I I watched you from okay. afar. Okay. You know, you, you was, the 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 return on investment is so much greater okay right so i got a good friend of mine 
that he is into mobile homes, been into mobile homes. You might know him, Marlon Williams. Yes, I do. I do. Yes. Uh-huh. So he, he and I went to high school together. We graduated together. Actually was going to um, be college roommates, but he ended up getting into the work industry. Okay. Right. So mm-hmm. he started his career early, but he also started with mobile homes early. Okay. And he had always told me, man, you need to get into the mobile home industry. Right, right. So I'm like, man, I'm fine. You know, I'm I'm good with the wholesaling. Okay. You know, things like that. But he would always, you know, kind of talk to me here and there when we would talk and say, man, I'm I'm doing great. I'm telling you. Oh, he's doing beyond great. Home. He's doing beyond yeah. great. Marlon is killing the game. And matter of fact, I actually was in an interview with Marlon. It was me, Marlon, right. and a couple of other people. And Marlon is killing the he's killing the game. But he does a lot of land deals. He he does yes. a lot, which that's that's yeah. where it's at. And right. guess who else is now doing land deals? It's you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? And, what? And, and that's something that he kind of that, that's what I'm saying. That kind of bug that he kept kind of playing in. You know, saying the land deals, land deals. So when this particular deal came about, yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna pass this one up. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on it. Okay. You know, so of course I had to get it get it straight with the wifey. Right, you know? right. But, but right. she she was on board with it. She right. she knows the plan. So um, like I said, we just gonna try to keep this going. We'll start with this one and pretty much just rinse and repeat. Okay. That. Okay, yeah. and so those of y'all who don't know, Clarence and his wife actually bought a plot of land in the community, right? And the community right. allows single family homes along with mobile homes. And right. by coincidence, the same people you bought your land from, they contacted me the next day. And I'm like, oh, I was all flattered. I'm like, oh, Clarence is trying to hook me up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I actually interviewed them too. Clarence, did you see that? I okay. actually, I actually, wow. yeah, I interviewed the guy because a lot of that was in Spanish. And I'm like, I'm trying to get a clear understanding of what's going on. So without giving okay. out too many other details, now you and your wife, you have a, a, a plot of land. Uh, right. It's within inside a community. They allow single family homes. So what, what is your plans with that land? Because nothing is there yet, but you can put a mobile home on there or you can put right. a single family home on there. So what, what is your plan? Well, I mean, we're, gonna, we're, 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 just, we're simply going to buy and hold. You okay. know, we're going to we're going to buy and hold and we'll be renting these mobile homes out. Okay, you know, but wait a minute. Are you gonna is you gonna collect this the lot rent, or are you gonna put a mobile home there, or what are you gonna do? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a mobile home there. Okay. All right. All right. So, so luckily, I, I will say this: the the and, and kind of let me back up a little bit because the wholesaling um, in the past have gave me the opportunity to build capital. Okay. Okay. And that's something that Marlon would always kind of mention. You, you know, you got to have a little capital. Use the wholesaler to build your capital. Right. You know, right. so, you know, we, we, we've done that. Okay. You know, and, and believe it or not, still to this day, I'm like you, I, I still have a nine to five. Right. 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 You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I ain't no so, sense quitting that. If you, I mean, you're making pretty good money at that. What you gonna jump up, jump and quit that for? You know, I don't see, right. the, I don't see the need. Exactly. So yeah, exactly. but I, I, I was proud as a peacock when I seen you post that you had bought that plot of land. I'm like, man, you are really, really, yes. really doing it. So do you have your eyes set on any mobile home yet, or what, what's your criteria? You know what? I, I don't. What, what I've been doing is just kind of sitting back and, and kind of watching offer up watching the mobile homes that kind of pop up just to kind of gauge to see um the different type of years okay. um of course uh the conditions okay you know and i and i said once the time gets near once they finish the development of the roads and things like that that's when i get a little bit more serious as far as okay narrowing it down to where we want to or what year or what model you know, home that we want to purchase because it, it really does no, no, no good for us to actually purchase right now because, you know, we can't actually put it on the land. Just exactly, you know? it ain't no sense of having two bills. You know, and, and right. did you did you pay that one cash or what? What is your plan with that? Without getting too far into your business, did you did you yeah. pay, did you pay that one cash? So, so we paid that cash. Oh wow, wow, yeah. But right. like you say, right. ain't no sense of acquiring another bill, exactly. and, and, and you don't have nowhere to put that mobile home. Man, you so, see what I'm saying? So, right. you know, like I said, as as we get maybe 
two months out from them finishing, mm-hmm. then I'll, I'll kind of time it to where, okay, now we need to probably start, you know, looking into um, us kind of kind of getting serious about a mobile home for us to purchase. Right. So, right. so if, if any of, of my mobile home friends out there, then when that time comes, I'm gonna shoot it out if they got something. <laughs> <laughs> Let you know. And let you, know, you let you know yeah, okay I, and, and clarence I, an right and clarence you know? i already put it out there way before we started recording that if they have anything closer to me because i'm not trying to do no six six hours away let me know and that's gonna be some money that's gonna be some money in your pockets because if it's a similar situation because to me it's a win-win situation however right. I'm a little scared. Did they say mention anything about like a septic tank? Now that I'm not. No. Okay. No, okay. No. 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 Okay. No septic tank. This is basically on city water and sewer. Oh, well, that's good. That's good because I've seen some horror stories on that. And matter of fact, I'm gonna be posting a couple of videos within our private Facebook page concerning that. I don't want nothing to do with no septic tank. No septic. And, tank. Yeah. yeah. Not at all yeah right. yeah and so uh clarence can you go over just a little bit of the details you know you you how did you find that land through some connections or how did you find well, you know what actually i didn't i mean i'm always looking on uh facebook marketplace you know i'm always researching i'm always out here just you know uh i'm just looking for deals right 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 so it didn't matter it, it, it just so happened that this popped up while I was looking on Marketplace, that this was 15 minutes away from my house. Wow. Wow. You know, so mm-hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. You know, right. um, wow, this this close. Right. So, you know, I told the wife, man, we need to kind of set up and go take a look at this. Right. Let, right. let me see the process. Let me let me go, you know, and, and, and sit down and, and talk with them to kind of see is this really real. Right. Right. You know, so. Lo and behold, I mean, uh, uh, Jimmy explained to me, he, he, it is really real. And and you you do see folks, you know, they're out. Right, right, right. Because right. there was a little bit of language barrier between the guy who I interviewed and, right. and me. And then he said, I have 14,000 lots. I said, no, you mean 1,400? He said, no, 14,000. So that's a huge, yeah. huge community. That's a right. huge community. And, and another thing, Clarence, you could still just buy the lot and collect the lot rent off of that. Somebody else want to put their mobile home on there. Want to put their mobile home. Right. And, exactly. Uh-huh. You know, it, so it, it's something that, that that was 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 thought about, you know, but of course, you know, I, I just said to myself, you know, if the time comes and like I said, you know, dealing with, you know, a lot of uh, mobile home wholesalers mm-hmm. and things like that, you know, I can find it and, and, and we can help each other out. You right. Know, I can be, you know, and, and still get a great deal on a mobile home and get the full rent. Right. Right. So in other words, you'll be the boots on the ground. Right. OK. OK. Exactly. And so and so Clarence, the guy was mentioning and I'm sure he didn't understand what I was talking about. I said, well, how much can lot rent go for out there? What? And he said twelve hundred dollars. I'm sure he was way off because that's some California yeah, money right off. there. Yeah. So how much lot rent would you say or have you even checked it out? How much lot rent could you get? I, I haven't, but but me kind of being in the real estate industry, I, I would say that the lot rent out there mm-hmm. you know, would, would probably go between three and five hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. You know, All right. Um they they are still doing um construction of a major toll okay. near. Mm-hmm. Um they do have a Walmart. Oh boy! Coming in. Oh <laughs> yes. Oh, you know that's gonna bring in all <laughs> kind of traffic. Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. You know, so, and, and and a they had a strip center that okay. would be built. So, you know, this, like I said, this is this is a real, you know, real good future, you know, right. uh, buying you know investment. Right. Cash flowing. You know, yeah. Right. So I, I I immediately seen. Mm-hmm where it was going when when he said walmart and i knew the tollway right uh that that is that is finishing where they're doing the construction you know and the strip that's going to be built yeah pe- said, pe- that's, that's people people gonna want to live there because right. i'm sure they're gonna have it's gonna be well lit speed bumps you know amenities for the kids i think he mentioned some kind of swimming thing monstrosity that was going to be actually inside 
you know. Right. So people, it's all about families. So you and go, they, you go they, get your money back. Right, and they, and they've actually already finished a school. Wow. Yeah. Inside. Inside. Wow. So this is this is this is just like any type of um master plan mm-hmm, mm-hmm. kind of type of community, mm-hmm. but it's just it's it's just on a kind of a smaller scale. Right. You know, and what I mean by smaller just meaning it doesn't have all the strict guidelines as an HOA would. Okay. You know, but it's still gonna have the convenience right. of what a master plan community provides right right uh, you know, and, now you see yeah and because the guy was mentioning because you had to break it down for me like there's a slight difference between well you said not really hoa and poa um so i was a little concerned of you know what year mobile home they would let there and the guy says as long as it's not an eyesore that it would have to go by the the poa then it, right. it had to be brand new right and, and 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 of course, and I've already pitched it. Whenever I did get a you know a mobile home that I was interested in purchasing, and I actually got serious about it, you know, I would pretty much you know probably take pictures of the mobile home inside and out, upload mm. it, email it to them. Basically, I'm emailing it to them, you know, for approval. You know, right. just kind right. of saying, hey, this is the mobile home that I'm interested in putting on my property. You okay. Know, um, you know, please please let me know as soon as possible. Okay. And so Clarence, just how would that work if you just decide to be, you own the lot, you're just going to collect the lot rent and you're going to let somebody else move your mobile home onto that land. What would you do? Put a lien on their mobile home? You know, cause what, well, if, what if they stop paying? Well, me personally, it would, it, it would, it would be just, just pretty much an eviction process. Because okay. I'm going to buy and 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 hold. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. So it will be my mobile home and my land. Okay. But well, I'm saying, what right. if you just say the lot? I just want to own the lot. Let's just say me. It's six okay. hours away. I just want to own the lot. So how right. would I go about that? I put a lien on their mobile home. On that mobile home. Wow. So that's right. a that's a win win situation. Because when he told me twelve hundred dollars, I'm like, look here, sign me up for three of them right now. <laughs> But I said, this guy, he he can't he can't understand what he's no. talking about. That's some yeah, California lot rent. You know, I almost fell out of my chair when he yeah, said that. No, no, <laughs> not at all. You know, this is this is this is a um a small uh city outside of Houston. It's growing, but you know, um it's 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 still considered rural right right you know so so it's not you know of course that that wouldn't be lot rent at all right you know, it's, it's, you know it probably in, in the next three to five years uh-huh. that, that that whole area you know will possibly right look totally different right right yeah i i yeah. might just have to make that drive out there just to see what they got going on but i was hoping that they had something closer because like you <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind picking up one of those that would be a no-brainer that's a win-win situation right now so clarence in comparison with single family homes and mobile homes which one are you leaning to are you leaning exactly are you exactly now i i, I will say this right and, and and me, like I said, me being in the industry, and I've kind of on been on one side for for so long. Mm-hmm. But you know, it, the numbers don't lie, right? You know? Right. So that return on investment with the mo- with the mobile homes, it, right. it's just it, it's just winning me over. Man. You know, right. I, I've never been into uh, flipping. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. uh, single family homes. I do have a ton of investors and friends that that do it uh-huh. you know my perspective is me being a wholesaler i can make 20 to thirty thousand off of maybe a house right you know it it varies sometimes it may be even lower it may be five mm-hmm. that i make off of maybe wholesaling but you know if if i'm making twenty thousand and you flipping a home and you may be only walking away with forty thousand to fifty thousand that's that's that 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 doesn't it doesn't do it for me. It, mm-hmm. it never has, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, 
and, and you got you got some people that have made more off flipping, but I just have never gotten into it. So now just to see the mobile homes, mm-hmm. it, it, I'm 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 really becoming a true believer. Right, right. You know, in the in, in the mobile home. And then me being a realtor, I can see that it's affordable living. I mean, I deal with clients that are trying to rent homes that the rent for homes now sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred dollars. Right. Easy, you know, and they can't afford those homes. So mobile homes give those folks the affordability. Right. Right. You know, so I'm I'm kind of seeing it. And I'm saying to myself, you know what? Mobile homes gonna forever be there. Right. You know, and, and the way this market is going so high, it's pushing people to them even more. Right. Right. Because I'm going to tell you the truth, Clarence. We just recently, you know, I'm a nurse out here in California, but me and my brother, we do business in Texas. And recently we moved into an apartment. If we were given more notice about that we had to move, we would would head to a mobile home. Because even though mobile homes out here cost an arm and a leg, after I would have stayed out here another four or five years, I mean, my profit would have been through the roof. It really yes. would. It really would have been through the roof. So, Clarence, I know you're a busy man, but can you give anybody like any words of wisdom who's trying to get into this mobile home business? You know what? I will say this to to anybody that's 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 trying to get in. Just know that you are getting into an industry to where it's 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 not going to run out of folks. Right. You know, they, you, Folks are going to need a place to live, an affordable place to live. And my suggestion is, I mean, you, if you're able to to just bring that together with them, you know, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Right. I mean, I know we're we're excited about our new endeavor, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and that's why I just simply said we're just going to rinse and repeat. Right. Right. You know, and, and basically keep doing the same thing. Right. Right. You know, un- un- unless I get lucky and maybe 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 I find a mobile home park or something that I can, you know. But I mean, <laughs> it, 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 it's just I still want to stick with that that lane. I want to I want to get into that lane. Right. More. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I, I just feel like it's just it's 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 lesser you know, to kind of deal with. Right, right. So, Clarence, I see your, so, your T-shirt and everything. So, I'm, how... I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a walking... I'm branded, <laughs> You're I'm walking advertising. <laughs> <laughs> you know your wife said, you got to put that T-shirt on when you go in that interview. <laughs> you, hey, listen. If anybody that knows, you know, they see me with this all the time. You got to see my car. My car got out by houses on them. Okay, you know, okay. Um, I tell I tell anybody, you know, why have a business if you're not going to let people know what you do? True, true, true. So how you know, how would somebody go to reach out to you, you know, concerning either these lots or anything else concerning okay. mobile homes or real estate? Real estate. How, how, you, you have yeah. an Instagram or yeah, I know you have a Facebook account. Can yes. you share that information with them? Yes. My Facebook account is, is Clarence the Houseman Snail. Okay. Clarence the Houseman Snail and uh, I'm Instagram C Snail the Houseman. Okay. You can find find me pretty easy. All you right. Know, I I let anybody know they can message me. Uh, you know, email me Clarence Snell Real Estate at gmail.com. Okay. You know, so I, I'm 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 very easy to find. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much, Clarence. I appreciate you stopping by. There we have it, guys. My student, Clarence Snell, Mr. Clarence Snell. He was already killing the game in the real estate business, guys. And now he's killing the game with the mobile homes. Thank you so much, Clarence, for stopping by. I appreciate your time.